a real estate investing rule of thumb that anyone should know. There are some rules in real estate that people use to analyze deals quickly. Instead of doing the whole analysis in the beginning of the process, we use these rules to quickly scan through potential deals. If an estate agent phones me, the first thing I ask him or her is if this deal passes the 1% rule. This alone won't determine if I'm going to buy the deal, but it's an easy way just to analyze that specific deal in a matter of seconds. My name is Louis Reinhardt and in this video I'll be covering the number one rule of thumb for investing in cash flow property deals. The 1% rule is the most common rule that real estate investors use to quickly analyze deals. Essentially, this rule takes a look at the monthly rental income divided by the total property value in a percentage form. For those who are confused, let's make this real simple. So let's say a property rents for 8,000 Rand in a month and the total value is 800,000 Rand. 8,000 divided by 800,000 equals 1%. So in this case, the property meets the 1% rule and it indicates that it might be a good deal to analyze further. So let's use another example where the rental income is 6,500 and the total value of the property is still 800,000 Rand. 6,500 divided by 800,000 equals 0.8%. This indicates that the property is not going to be cash flow positive and it's not worth your time. Just remember that this rule alone won't determine whether it's a good deal or not, but it will help you to quickly sort through a big amount of real estate deals. When your deal meets or passes this rule, you can then do more research on that specific property and confirm the income and the expenses and from there you can make a decision on whether you want to make an offer on this property or not. You need to confirm the rental income as well as the expenses that is provided by a real estate agent or the platform that you saw the property on. Never ever buy a property without confirming those details. Start using this rule of thumb today and you'll see how easy it is to use and you can use this method without using a calculator and if someone phones you, you will immediately know if it's worth your time or not. It's such an easy way to scan through deals without wasting time. Follow me for more tips and tricks to be a successful real estate investor in South Africa.